So that's my brother. A retired educator. And now he's retarded. And, and, uh, <laughs> when I was young, I was poor. Now that I'm old, I'm, I'm uh, still poor. <laughs> I'm still poor. <laughs> and here we're going through the the backyard. This is the back of my parents' property. So as you can see, there's all the plants here. And there's a pomelo. It's a lot of fruit there and it's ready to be harvested. And this is the rest area where you can actually just sit here and chat with my family and this is the backyard there's a lot of trees and plants that's a coconut coconut young coconut tree and these are all plants this used to be a uh, chicken house and now there's some kittens in there so my brother tried to maintain this property and as you can see so green Okay, there's a lot of plants, assorted plants, different kind of plants. And there's the Bahai Kubu there. It's nestled in the, in the garden. And there's a bamboo. Those are bamboo. And let's go around here. And that's the pump. We put the pump, the, the pipe inside. Pump it. Go through the to the soil and then it, the pipe will go through there that's a pipe going through the house so you can have some water let's go here this is a pathway and it's very beautiful here because my brother put a, a makeshift shade here made a bamboo of course these are bamboo that was cut from my mom's bamboo uh, that was in the end of this property and it's been there since I remember growing up so this is the Bai Kubo it's nestled in this garden here so this is a Bai Kubo it's a one bedroom Nipa hut and we call it Bai Kubo and see if you can see that's it and here and we have some lemon tree and there's that banana, banana heart. and then there's that banana if you take a look at the banana you really can see that there's some ripe fruits there anyway we're going through the, the back again and these are all young coconut that was planted because um, I know when I was growing up we have a lot of coconut in the backyard and we just used to kind of uh, go and get some coconut if my mom would like to cook some um, vegetable with coconut milk but now they're already old so my brother replaced them with a new one so these are all young coconut here and this is the back of the Bahai Kubo see that's the back of the Bahai Kubo and Let's go here. We'll try to go inside. This is the plants. Plants again. Plants, plants. So this is the front of the Bahai Kubo. As you can see, my brother had these lights made of kapis. Those are the light. Um, it's actually hooked up to a solar, solar panel. And there, that's a solar panel there. So at the out of the day when it gets really dark then there's a light here in the Bahi Kubo okay. so this is the front this is the steps of the Bahi Kubo and as you can see this is what they call a living room and right now it's full of junk but as you can see there's a bookcase there full of stuff that my brother used um, when he was teaching and that's just like a living room or maybe like a kitchen where you can actually sit down and have a table there and serve some 
some dinner or lunch or breakfast this can be like a kitchen but there's nothing there right now there used to be something here like a cabinet that there's a stove but as you can see this is made of um, this Filipino I don't know what to call it but they call it sawali I don't know maybe I need to google what's the translation in English but these are like weave and they use it as a roofing and even though it rains hard it will not drip because they kind of put it the way they put it like on top of one another this is a chair that you know they make chairs out of the bamboo okay and this will be your furniture as you can see this is the wall this is another part of the living room and I have to be very careful because the floor is really very very um, sensitive now because it's old you know if you're heavy you might go and break it and go under and I want you to see this is my brother's collection of books these are actually his library here actually these are just pocket books there are some books here that are like um, some biography I guess some are just like friction um, there are some that are like uh, foreign authored books um, uh, there's some like this one here it says people of the earth by Michael Gere or something Agatha Christie that's a very popular author at that time the last good day all this um, these are my brother's collection of books and my dad who used to work at the Navy base Subic Naval base in Olongapo City he he actually bring home all the time some pocket books that's being thrown by sailors um, on the dumpster and you know how sailors they like to read while they are, they are in deployment so once they get to the to the base uh, to the shore they will just gonna throw it away after reading it and my dad used to kind of pick them up from the garbage from the trash and bring it home so we can actually read so I grew up le uh, reading pocketbooks my brother um, my sisters not more on the youngest one anymore but I do read a lot during the time and this is the bedroom this is a one bedroom hut and I we're gonna open this one it's it's closed right now but I'm trying to remove it because my brother kind of just put it put a wire here just to for kids to go in and as you can see you can just pop it open and this is the bedroom let's turn on the light as you can see look at the wall these are made of bamboo made of bamboo and again this is made of the Filipino tree it's not a it's like an herb the same as the coconut but it's not really the coconut it's another kind of tree and that's a window and as you can see there's the bench there that was put in there so you can you can sit down and look at the walls here look at the walls this is a painting that was given to my brother by one of the students I guess who actually painted this and then as you can see there's a rolled up mattress here but during the old days we don't even have a mattress what we have is a weave weave mat my grandma used to weave out of a bamboo leaves and then we use this as a mat so we actually sleep here this is a bunk bed so that's stairs going there and that's a, another bed but um, it's all junk right now and there's a window there and there's my brother put uh, one bulb there but during the old days we only use oil lamp it's a lamp and 
it's either oil or made of gas and then you can just put it in the middle hang it on on top of uh, one area so it will brighten the room and as you can see see this is the this is just the bed and we put the mat here and like this this measurement here this is really big so you can have a mother and a father and a few children here sleeping side by side and that's what we do growing up i remember growing up in this kind of you know bed and it's like on the floor and then some other children if they don't fit in here they will end up putting another mat here as long as there's space then you will put the mat here this is the floor again this is also made of bamboo and you know during the old days what uh the air will just gonna come through this hole so it's it feels comfortable if it's hot then the air will come through the holes there from the from the floors and from the walls so this is what it is so this is a one bedroom nipa hot they call and this is also like a house that the uh, family lived during the old days and I remember growing up too. Uh, uh, remember sleeping in this kind of uh, bed on the floor with just a mat. And here it is. This is my. This is my uh, childhood. We're trying to close this one because my brother might get upset if I don't close it so we're just gonna close it because it's trying to preserve this nipa hut uh, this nipa hut has been here uh, for, long, for a while and then even when my mom and my dad are still alive you know they used to kind of sit down here and just to kind of be here and we talk about our childhood about how my parents uh, was able to come to America, live with me, uh, watch my children grow, and make them uh, aware that grandma and grandpa and mom and dad are actually from this place. So it's really a very humbling experience for me to um, go back and reminisce the past and to this very day I'm so grateful and I'm really blessed because without this I won't be able to be where I am today and still trying to strive for the best and also for my children to know where they came from so this is a chicken house and again this is another chicken house here we're going through here this is where they took care of ducks my brother has a lot of ducks and also a pig. and this is there's another chicken house here the ducks that's where the, they make the ducks go in at the end of the day and the other side there's a fence here and that's my uncle's property um, my mom's younger brother youngest brother and he's the last one who passed away a few months ago and as you can see they have all this goat there's four goats here and they just let them roam around and they give them some grass and they grow once they grow you can actually sell them and get slaughtered and these are the bamboo trees so there's the bamboo these are the bamboo that i know exists already since growing up so this is in my mom's property as you can see these are bamboo and right now there's a lot of old old ones but they're still new shooting shooting out so every time that they need to build something all these things that are made of bamboo here 
they they don't actually purchase them they just gonna cut some from here my brother will just gonna have some to cut here and then they're just gonna build this one so these are all duck house and chicken house but you know it's all made of bamboo see these are all bamboo all you need to do is purchase a nail see. and a wire of course to kind of have an enclosed structure for the chicken and the duck so we're here now this is the end of the property so that's another bamboo a lot of bamboos there that's bamboos and actually this is the plant that they use that the leaves is the one that they uh, used to make the roof of the Bahi Kubo um, in our local dialect we call it silag I don't know I have to google what's the translation in English but it's just like a nipa I think this is also the one that they use if you remember during uh, the procession during Lent you know how the the entry of Jesus Christ to uh, Jerusalem or something that the people lay these branches on the ground so these are the the plant actually the Sanipahat and they make this also a church during Lent uh, during that uh, beginning of Lent they make this as a cross and give out give it out to uh, worshippers so that's the one and they use this to build a nipa hut okay and again this is our bamboos so as you can see it's very thorny thorn 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 uh, but they're all big and this stand the time I remember growing up that this is still here and this back is actually full of bamboo before but right now there's only this one here and this one and then my uncle and actually um, if you look here that's the lake that's the end of the property the end of the property is a lake during the rainy season and and it's raining really hard that lake will be full of water and I remember growing up that my dad used to make a raft out of the bamboo it's a wooden raft and when the water is uh, really very clear and it's actually very high then it used to be we go here right on a wooden raft a bamboo raft and then wash our clothes here this is also where the kids learn how to swim my mom learned how to swim here in this creek we call it creek my brothers and I myself swam in this lake but I almost drowned when I was eight years old and that's the reason why I really never learned how to swim because I remember going down in this water and all I can see is all darkness or black so I really never learned how to swim I still have the phobia going down because of that you know incident that experience and that happens in this lake that's a lake it's a lake there and that kind of goes through all different villages it, it, you know okay so that's the end of and that is our star apple we used to have star apple but now this is a new planted star apple because the old one i remember when i was little we used to climb the climb that tree and i used to help my mom pick the fruit and this is a tamarind tree too we used to have a tamarind and it gets old through time so my brother planted a new one here so that's a tamarind see that's the nipa hut see that's the one that they use to, to put into the roof of that bahai kubo the one that i showed you earlier see that one here and here i am uh, this will be my last full day here in the barrio that's why I'm trying to document it and hopefully by the time I get back in another year or two um, they're still here and of course they will be and again that's a chicken house it's another bamboos bamboos 
and my brother's still planting I don't know what plants are this but it looks like they're avocado and that's another nipa nipa plant this one here uh, see we have a lot of this and this a lemon this is actually a lemon or maybe um, it's a grapefruit actually it's actually a pomelo so it's full of fruit right now they're all ripe but they just let it sit here because they cannot sometimes get they cannot get um, a lot of like this all the time because this is citrus it will kind of ruin your stomach if you eat a lot all the time but sometimes they will just gonna fall down see there's some papaya papaya this is actually a mango tree here where I am but there's no fruit right now so this is the, the end of the property here, here, here. oh it's really hot right now I mean these are like the bananas anyway I'm here oops this duck I'm here it's really hot and look at that those ducks and chickens and the roosters look at that they are all resting right now look at that they're all resting it's really hot Maybe you don't notice, but it's actually very hot right now. So, here I'm going back. Oh, if you notice, those are like... Wait, ah, shoot! These are all made of bamboo. They're like a nest. Chicken nest. And the mother chickens actually stay here and lay their eggs. And I remember growing up that my mom was gonna say, Go get us, go get us some egg in the morning and then I'll go in and grab some eggs from there these are like chicken cages these are a pig pen they only have like two pigs, pigs right now and we have a lot of ducks 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 anyway i'm going out and this is the end of the property this is the end of my tour chicken chicken cage That's the back of the Baha'i Kubo. Oh. And that's a mango tree there. Oh, this is Baha'i Kubo. Look at that. They have the copies. See the hanging lamp there? It's a traditional shell found in the in Mindanao, I think, or other parts of the Philippines, and they made it as a lamp. So it's a hanging, hanging lamp. And it's powered by a solar light that my brother put in here. So there will be a light here at the end of the day. And again, this is a Baha'i Kubo. It's a Nipa hut. And it's been uh, here, I think, not in this location though. It used to be on that side because my sister used to live in that one bedroom hut right there and now he, she built a house here in the middle of the property because it's getting so uncomfortable and you know I kind of help her out to you know, build a house of his own so and she's a nurse so again this is the end of the property